Hey everybody, it's me, Myra, at Down Home Money, a simple approach to financial freedom. I hope you're doing well. It's Tuesday. It's my day. So I, um, wow. So July 4th, happy July 4th, first of all. And I hope that you appreciate and are grateful for the freedom that we have. I am so grateful and always will be for the people who um, who gave us our freedom. I think that so many times we just think it comes natural uh, because we live in the United States, and it doesn't. There's actually people that fought for all of us, for our freedoms. So, And still to this day, we have to fight for our freedom. And I just want to thank you for coming to my channel. I um, Today, I want to share with you just some tips and strategies on why it's important to start a budget because people ask me all the time what's the first place to start well the first place to start to on your journey to financial freedom is you got to stop spending your money on stuff that is not going to get you where you want to go that's number one i mean and, and it's hard okay i'm not saying any of this is easy financial freedom is simple it's not easy but you gotta you've got to take control of your spending habits. That's number one. And you really need to be on a budget because a budget will help with accountability on your spending. And I know, you know, we talk about in a budget just, that just ain't sexy. You know, having a budget's not sexy. But I'm gonna tell you what is sexy, is having plenty of money and being able to live your life the way you wanna live. But if you will work on a budget and track all your expenses and track where your money's going, uh, especially in your 20s and 30s, you won't have to worry about a budget later. I don't really live on a budget anymore. I don't have to. Because what happens is, is that your behaviors continue. So I'm extremely frugal no matter what. I don't care if I won the lottery and won $100 million, I still would be shopping Walmart. I still would be paying attention to how much money I'm spending and not blowing money because I respect money. And I truly realize that stuff does not create happiness. You think when you don't have money or you don't have the things that you want, you assume, oh my gosh, someday when I have enough money, I'm going to buy this, this, and this, and I'm going to be happy. But I'm going to tell you just from experience, because once I started making really good money, and I had more money, because you know, the first time when I retired, we retired on 5000 a month, and that was from rental properties. So Rick and I had worked really hard in our jobs, 12 to 14 hour days. Rick worked for the police department. He was a policeman. I was um, a hairstylist, and I would go to work as soon as the daylight came up, and I'd get home after dark. And I did that for, oh gosh, I guess 13 years. And we saved our money and started paying properties off so that we could make 5000 net for our family a month. And it wasn't easy. No, it was hard. I wanted to go out with my friends on Friday night, but I was too exhausted. And I knew I had to get back up at 6 a.m. to be back at work on Saturday morning because that's when everybody wanted to get their hair done. And I wouldn't get home till Friday night till 8, 9 o'clock. And in my 20s, I did a lot of sacrificing. And I'm so grateful that I did. And I'm grateful that I lived off a budget. And a budget is you just break down all your expenses. You know, what is your rent or your house payment? What is your car payment? What is What are your essential living expenses, okay? Which is utilities, all your utilities, gas, water, electric, um, whatever your utilities are, a telephone, if you have a landline, or even if you have a cell phone, that is the utility that you use. Um, what's it, what else? Uh, oh, TV. Do you have cable? Do you have Netflix? What, do, what are your expenses every month that no matter what, whether you don't even eat, what are your expenses? And then we're going to add on for food. What are you doing for food and what are you doing for entertainment? Because you need to have a little bit of money for at least to go to a movie once a month while you're in this saving process. And it's going to get easier, I promise. But if you do this in your 20s and 30s, listen, you're going to be old a whole lot longer than you're young. And I would rather be financially free starting in my 40s and beyond 
than be broke and tired. Because when you're young, you can work two jobs. You can go get a side hustle. You can do all these things to secure your financial future. And it, it, when you're young, it's okay to have delayed gratification. Nobody expects you to drive a fancy car. Nobody expects you to wear Gucci. No. So sacrifice on the front end so that you can live like nobody else at a later date. It's so important. But when you start to do your budget, look at your house payment or your rent, your car payment. What payments do you have? How much is the minimum payment for your credit card? So you need to put all these expenses down. School loans, if you have school loans, you've got to put all of them down. And now this is how much money we have to have every month. And if you are making less than what your monthly budget is, then we got a problem. This is why you're living off credit cards. So you've got to go get a side hustle or a part-time job. You got to get it figured out because we got to get more money coming in because money's simple. It's money in, money out. You need more money in so that we can take that extra money and put it in a brokerage account and build you a passive income or save it. And right now with money markets paying over 5%, put it in the bank. Uh, if, if you check the money markets, my money market, I've got a money market at Vanguard that's paying 5.09, I think. That's fabulous, you guys. So, and your savings accounts are paying more, but ask questions. Not all banks are equal and they're not all paying the same. So you need to do a little research. You can go to um, bankrate.com and it'll give you the highest CDs, the highest money markets, the highest savings accounts. That's a perfect place to start. And Let's get your money making you more money. Now, when you're in your 20s, you may not have a lot of money left over. I get it. We've all been there. But what's important is what are you saving for your future self? That's what this is about. This is about your future self. And are you building passive incomes to afford you a really big life at a later date? That's what it's about. And it'll get to a point where you get to work because you want to, not because you have to. And that's what happened to me at age 33 because I killed myself. I worked three jobs when I was putting myself through school to do hair, to become a barber. I worked three jobs. Um, and the reason I did that is because I had to, first of all, because, you know, I don't have a rich daddy and didn't have an inheritance. I was poor. And I lived off of a lot of hot dogs. And I mean, I lived and I lived within my means, actually below my means, so that I could save money for my future. And I did mine through building, buying real estate. And so you've got to save money for that down payment. You gotta save money for any other options that you want. So just remember that, because that's so crucial. But I just want your future is bright. You just got to take the bull by the horns. Be sure and get my book, Down Home Money, A Simple Approach to Financial Frame. You can get it on Amazon. Uh, I read it on Audible. So if you like a Southern accent, you can get it on Audible. But I share some tips and strategies to help you take control of your future. Now, I want you to check out the little girls that made me a dog mom, actually, Actually, I want to share with you a little piece of my life. So I have two little precious angels that named Daisy Mae and Sweetie Pie, and they have their own YouTube channel. And I just wanted to share with them with you today because they've been down here at my feet, and so I thought I'd share them with you. Today, I wanted to introduce you guys to Daisy Mae and Sweetie Pie. They have their own channel, and I'll put a link to it. So I wanted to do something just a little different today. I've got my dog mom shirt on and they were both down at my feet. And I thought, I'm going to introduce you guys to two of the most special babies in my life. They um, came to me, they're rescues. Sweetie Pie weighs six pounds. Daisy weighs five. And they're good little friends. They're great little friends. You'll have to check out their channel because they're hilarious. I started just doing some video of them because they do so many cute, fun things. But anyway, I just wanted to share a part of my life, which are these two. This one is my sleeping partner. She sleeps right by my head. Half the time, her head's in my, on my shoulder. 
and she's pretty special. So, and then this one, they're sisters. We rescued them. They were already, well, the rescue said six or eight months old, but who knows, right? Because they were already full grown, but they were only two and a half pounds. And now this one's five and this one's six. So I just wanted to share them. I'll see you guys next Tuesday. Don't forget to subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. And if you like my little girls, go check out their channel. See ya.